Hey there, crypto fans, and welcome to Altcoin Radar. Today, guys, we're going to look at some of the best altcoins under one cent to buy and hold for the long term. But guys, before we get started, please keep in mind that the information that you hear in this video is based purely on my own opinion. And everybody's got their own opinions, and this is just my opinion. So guys, um, the first coin that I'm going to show you guys today that's on my personal list that I think is one of the best coins to uh, buy and hold for the long term is BitTorrent. Um, you know... BitTorrent is a one of those coins where it's got quite a bit of utility. I mean, honestly, as you can see, um, you know, it's it it it's a it's a file sharing protocol, and you know, people use it to you know, it helps with uh, sharing files on the blockchain. So it's you know, it's pretty great. And I love projects like this. I love projects that have utility like this. And as you guys can see, it is a coin that is currently ranked number forty-seven. So it's pretty popular. Um, as far as being under one cent, as you guys can see, it is currently trading for well under one cent. Um, you know, this is again something where, you know, I'm a long term holder. So, you know, coins like this where you're holding on for the long term, you know, you just want to hold on to it. Because, I mean, look at this, guys. I mean, honestly, um, <laughs> I bought a very long time ago with this coin personally. And, I mean, it's it's gone up quite a bit since I bought it. Um, as you can tell, on April 3rd, it went all the way up to over one cent so i mean that just goes to show guys it it can definitely get up there so and it definitely will long term as well um i fully expect this coin to be well over one or two one or one or two cents within the you know very far future so and i'm talking three five six years from now not you know five months from now i'm talking like three to five years uh that's how long i'm talking about when i talk about holding on for the long term so guys, um, that's what I love about BitTorrent, and yeah, that's why it's number, you know, that's why it's one of the top coins on my list. Uh, the next coin I've got on my list, you guys, is the Kin Coin, and the reason why I love the Kin Coin is because it is my personal favorite digital, um, digital ecosystem for, you know, it has very a bunch of various cool apps that you can do things with, and you basically use the Kin Coin to, you know, pay for different things throughout those apps. Uh, what kind of apps am I talking about? Well. According to their website here, we've got, you know, we got blog, we got gaming, gaming, uh, you, you got kick. Um, yes, they, they own kick and you got health and fitness apps. You've got news and entertainment apps, you know, more gaming apps, life and lifestyle and finance, you know, uh, social and communication apps. So, I mean, they've got a lot of stuff going on here and a lot of different apps that, you know, are really that people love around the world that people are using quite a bit. So, and as far as the token goes, um, you know, as you can see, guys, it's well under one cent. So, you know, you can get quite a bit for, you know, you can get quite a bit for less than less than, a, you know, you can get quite a bit for less than a penny. So uh, I fully this is one of those coins where I honestly fully expect it to grow in the future. Um, as you can see, guys, back in 2018, it went up pretty far. So, I mean, guys, if it can go up there in the past, it can definitely go up there again in the future. So just keep that in mind. Um, you know, its max supply is, let's see here, thousand, million, billion, trillion. It's, it's, it's max supply is 10 trillion and currently it's at 1.5 or, you know, 1.5 billion. So about 15% of the max supply. So it's got a ways to go. Uh, but yeah, guys, this is one of those coins that I personally really like. And I, you know, I'm holding this one on for, onto this one for the long term. I'd like to hear your guys' thoughts about it in the comment section below. Uh, this next one, this next coin I'm going to talk about you guys this is a brand new coin. Um, it's something that's uh, that I haven't really heard about very much, but I looked into it and I kind of really like it. It's called Shiba Inu, and it's pretty much a Dogecoin, um, a Dogecoin killer. And you know, hey, I <laughs> I love I love a good competition. So you know, if somebody else, if an underdog is trying to take out, you know another coin you know i'm all for it just like how you know ethereum is trying to take out bitcoin um as far as you know as far as overall you know being number one and number two so uh i think you know i think a coin like this i mean clearly it's ranked number 25 a lot of people have it on their watch list people are loving this coin so far i personally think that this coin's going to do great in the future i personally personally feel like it's going to uh be more popular than dogecoin someday i really really do um, but that's, again, that's my personal opinion. Uh, according to, you know, coin market cap though, you know, it is a, it, it's literally just a, 
it's literally just a coin that's a dogecoin killer and it, you know they'll be listing it on their own shiba swap which is coming which is a decentralized exchange that's you know coming out soon so um you know as uh, as far as the token goes as you guys can see here its max supply is one quadrillion and its current circulating supply is 394 billion so it's got a ways to go to reach one quadrillion that's a lot of that's a lot of supply right there guys uh, but as you can see look how much it's trading in the last 24 hours so that's quite a bit uh, so yeah guys I personally believe in this coin I personally feel like this is gonna go somewhere within the next you know five six years I personally think you know whether it's got utility or not I personally feel like just due to popularity I mean look at look where dogecoin went to you guys I mean if dogecoin can go up that high there's no reason why a coin like Shiba Inu can't you know skyrocket as well I mean dogecoin was this low at one point in time so just keep that in mind you guys um, all right so the next coin on my list is we've got dent and this is honestly one of my personal favorite projects i really love this project um you know basically it is a um let's see here according to uh coin market cap you know um dent is a it, it's pretty much it's pretty much one of those projects where you can like um, you know where they sell they're, they're basically they've got mobile data uh, basically on the blockchain pretty much That's pretty much what I what I get out of it, and that's pretty great I mean this is something where you know people in people in remote areas who have smartphones um, You know they can get access to wireless data and stuff like that Whereas you know like obviously Verizon wireless isn't going to be in the middle of nowhere So uh, you know they don't have towers out there um, You know and you know dent could solve that and I could see that being a very a, a very useful for people who live in remote areas and stuff like that um, you know with their eSIM technology uh, so yeah guys I think that's a great project as far as the token goes um, this project's been around for a very very long time it's currently trading for a lot less than a penny and its total supply is 100 uh, let's see here thousand million billion 100 billion and its current uh, supply is 95 billion so uh, yeah, guys, it's currently ranked number 119. So I personally think that this, you know, this is this could go up pretty high. I mean, its current high is, you know, right around one cent. So or no, sorry, almost 10 cents. So think about that, guys. If it can go up to 10 cents at one point in time, it can definitely go up there again. That's for darn sure. Um, so just keep that in mind. This is something again, another great project to invest in for you know five to six years. Um, you know, long term hold, just like it says in my title. All right, guys, so uh, probably going to get a lot of crap for this one, but my last coin on my list is going to be Freecoin. And the main reason why I've got Freecoin on my list and the reason why I personally have money into Freecoin is simply because, you know, it's a lot like the Shiba Inu project. Um, it's got a lot of popularity in the Middle East. Uh, there's a lot of people in the Middle East who have, you know, who, who invest in this project and uh I, I think it could personally go somewhere because of it uh, you know when projects have a lot of popularity behind them and a lot of people buying them and it just grows and grows and grows over time I personally feel like this project is going to be one of them where it's going to just skyrocket within the next five to six years at some point in time um, but you know everybody's going to have their own opinions and that's okay everybody can have their own opinions uh, so yeah guys but I mean just not too long ago it went all the way up to Let's see, point zero. Uh, that's too many zeros, but two six, and so yeah. Honestly, it's a great project. I think it could go somewhere in the future. Uh, you know, to each their own. Uh, you know, I'm just I'm just sharing my personal information on what I personally love and what I do. You know, everybody else is free to make their own video. If you don't agree with it, great. That's awesome. You know, you don't have to agree with me, um, but there's nothing wrong with it. So guys, uh, yeah, that's pretty much what I got for my favorite top coins for what I would consider great coins to invest in for the long term. Um, so, all right, guys, now that we've got a pretty good idea of what my coins are, or the coins are that I personally love for, you know, the long term future, uh, let me know what you guys think about these, you know, all, all these picks in the comment section below. I'd love to hear your thoughts on them. You know, we got BitTorrent, Kin, Shiba, Dent, and Freecoin. So let me know what you think about these coins, you know, under one penny in the comment section below. But now that I'm running out of uh, things to say for this video, you guys, it's time for me to go ahead and wrap things up.
But guys, before you leave, let me know your thoughts about the video in the comment section below, and go ahead and take a minute to subscribe to my channel so that you guys never miss a new crypto and altcoin video from me. And with that said, you guys, thanks again for watching, and I hope to see you guys in the comment section of my future videos.